Let's talk about them, Dread, and welcome to the channel. Now, this guy is going to be on how to get to the Shattered Gallery, and there's a mystery door that some people can't seem to unlock, and I'm just going to show you the items you can get out of this place. And yeah, so this is the guide. So you want to re-roll till you get on Lossom till you get Marrow Parish. Once at Marrow Parish, you want to follow the main doors with the exclamations across all the way through the dungeons and into the sewers and out of the sewers until you get to the asylum. Once you're at the asylum, you want to fight Ripsaw, get the attic key and get upstairs. So here's me punching all his head in. I'll take it back. He's got me on the floor. He's pinned. So I'll grab the key, different footage, lost some of the footage while making this video, upset me a little bit, but let's carry on. Once you go through that door, you'll go to Nimue's retreat. She's then going to teleport you to the Forsaken quarters. Once there, you're going to need to find another dungeon. There's, I think there's two loads, one's a side dungeon, which it can be the Shattered Gallery and the main dungeon. Mine happened to be... This main dungeon was the Shattered Gallery. So make your way all the way to the end of the Shattered Gallery once you find the dungeon and go to the checkpoint. Once you're at that checkpoint, come back on yourself because you'll have a room like this. If you've not got a room like this, then you're going to have to re-roll because there's two versions of the Shattered Gallery. So yes, there is an interactable door and it is locked. And so what you want to do is come over to this painting and just boot that your way. Now drop down the hole, follow it round. And this is going to be one of the first secrets hidden down here. You just need to take on the executioner. I'll try and chop him up with my sword because I'm trying to do a melee class. A melee? Yeah. I don't know why I want to call it at the minute, but yeah, we'll just punch his head in and we'll grab the first item, which is going to be the stead. Is it a steadfast? It's the steadfast. So just charge melee attacks can't be interrupted and gain 10% 10, 10 reduction in damage. At level 10, you just get Grey Elf if you get hit. So it converts your damage into Grey Elf, and you can get it recovered. So another bad little mod. It's going to be good for melee builds, I suppose. Next, we want to run through this little bit of a corridor. Once we get to the end, we'll, get, we'll see this statue here, and to the right of us, there'll be a doorway. That's where we want to head. Jump up this ledge, and there we go. That's the next item on the list, which is going to be the Orient Frail. And yeah, you can rodeo this. I should have put my cowboy hat on and swung away. So coming back on yourself, there was this staircase. Let's head up those to the first of the three locked doors. This is not the one we wanted originally, and here's the second. And this will give us our third hidden item in this dungeon section, which is going to be the Sapphire Dreamstone. Now, this is a good little thing for melee builds. I believe it gives you critical hit reduction skill cooldown by 3% and can only happen every two seconds. So if you whip away, whip away, it will bring your skill cooldown fast. And if you've taken on a herd of enemies, it's going to be very good to be using in a melee build. And then this foiler brings us to that locked door, what we came for. And there it is. So now you're back at the start where you originally kicked all that poster down. And that's that. Job done. If you found this helpful, drop me a like, subscribe and comment. Peace.